Order item entry parts is typically used for a one-time part not transferred from the estimator or parts catalog. It's also the place to add existing part records to the order. When you know the complete part number, type it in and then press the tab key. All part details fill in automatically. Clicking on Inventory opens the Inventory List screen, where your search can be filtered by vendor category, full or partial part numbers, or description. Once the item is found, it is selected and a click on Transfer copies it back to the Part Item Edit window to confirm or change quantity. All of this is discussed in further detail in the Inventory video clips. Input begins with a part number up to 20 characters. Part code is a handy abbreviation system that can be trained to fill in description, category, and potentially vendor if it is consistently the same. Part codes are maintained in the Setup Standard Descriptions area. Description is either entered by typing it in or is filled when a part is copied from the estimator or a parts catalog. Enter an adequate quantity to do this job and then enter the unit cost. This value is read by the matrix and marked up accordingly to where it sits in the matrix dollar thresholds providing you with a calculated unit price it will sell for. To make an exception, check the user entered sale box. This will exempt the part from using the matrix calculated price and also makes the unit sale field available to enter the price you're actually going to use and this becomes the sale price visible on the customer's order. Unit list is provided from estimator or parts catalog items that include a published list price. QOH or quantity on hand allows users to see the current stock level of this part if viewing a stocked item. Margin is automatically figured from the cost and the markup matrix price or the user entered sale price if that is engaged. It is also possible to enter a figure into margin and this will recalculate the selling price. The size field is provided for tires and the tire checkbox defines this part as a tire to filter it as part of tire searches. Vendor is filled from drop down selection with manually entered parts or automatically filled by the electronic PO process. This is also true for the related manufacturer's line code field. Category drives reports, so be sure to fill it in to avoid unassigned parts. Account revenue is a default setting. If your parts are taxable, that's already selected. If your parts are non-taxable, you'd have the parts non-taxable account selected in standard tables account classes. The inventory part checkbox is an option to quickly add this part to inventory from this part item entry window. The part number and description dims to indicate that this is now an inventory record. Core is provided if you need to create a part record that represents the customer's exchange part being replaced. It adds a special property to make it appear on reports. The confirmed option becomes available when the repair order is marked as printed or the mark all as approved option is turned on. It's provided for instances where you want this part subtracted from inventory sooner than the convert to invoice stage. Display off is handy to hide the cost field where the workstation might be visible to customers. Cost display will remain off for all items and orders on that workstation until a user turns it back on, perhaps to enter a cost as needed. Then it should be turned off once again. Tax allows making an exception for this item only. Customer type provides users with access to alternate pricing options for this part only. This is not a discount that would show on the order as such. It is a different price level for one part only.